Hey everyone, welcome back to Learn With Me. I'm Deborah Hansen, and today we're going to do the second part of 3.2, Physical Development Across the Lifespan. So I did a video where we did the first two questions, and this one is going to be the last two questions. There were four CED questions for this section of Unit 3. So if you want to hear the first two, you'll have to look at the other video, and this one will cover number three and four of the CED questions. So we're going to go through the questions as well as the essential knowledge that the College Board needs you to know for the AP exam. If you're finding the content helpful, please leave me a message to let me know what's working or if you want to see anything extra. And if you have a chance, please subscribe to my channel. Really love seeing the numbers going up. It's really fun for me to do that, to watch it go. And anyway, let's get going on 3.2 physical development across the lifespans. Okay, so we're going to look at CED question number three, explain how physical development in adolescence applies to behavior and mental processes. So in the last two questions, we looked at pre prenatal, and then we also looked at infancy. Now we're in moving into adolescence. Okay, let's have a look at that. Okay, so let's just do the overview of physical development in adolescence. So the main point, adolescence is marked by major physical and psychological changes, including growth spurts and puberty. These changes will impact how ad adolescents think, feel, and behave. So let's talk about the adolescent growth spurt. So what exactly is this? It's a rapid increase in height and weight that occurs during adolescence. And how does that impact behavior? Adolescents may feel awkward or self-conscious as they adjust to their changing bodies. I seem to remember even my own kids as they were growing up, growing, going through these growth spurts. And I kept saying, you will eventually grow into your feet. You know, like the, your feet are huge and you're tripping over yourself and you're kind of awkward. That kind of happens when you're having these growth spurts. Also notice the fridge empties really quickly during these. So anyway, but this can influence definitely self-esteem, social interaction uh, going when, while you're going through these, these changes, right? Um, also puberty and sexual development is happening at this time. So what is puberty? Well, this is the period when our bo the body is becoming capable of reproduction. So some there's going to be primary and secondary sexual characteristics with this. Primary sex characteristics would be the involved, these involved changes in related to reproduction. So for example, you might have your first menstrual period if you're a girl or your first ejaculation if you're a boy. So we call that menarche and spermarche. So that's the um, biological terminology for that. The secondary sex characteristics would be that are physical traits that are not directly related to reproductions, but are definitely a sign of sexual maturity, such as breast development in girls, deeper voices in boys. So these are the changes that are occurring in your bodies. But Let's ha see how this impacts our behavior and mental processes. So, for example, you might see emotional changes. Hormonal changes during puberty can lead to mood swings, emotional sensitivities. Um, cognitive development can be affected. Adolescents begin to think more abstractly and critically, and they start to start question authority or societal norms. And what in social impact do we have in that? Well, it's changes in appearance and sexual development can influence peer relationships, interest in romantic relationships. So there's definitely a lot going on during adolescence, right? So we're going to look at psychological milestones during adolescence. So adolescents are navigating their changing bodies, which can affect their self-identity, their self-esteem. Social comparisons are often increased during this time. Teens compare themselves to other teens, um, other people who are maybe growing faster or not as fast, things like that. Developing independence as they mature physically. Adolescents also seek more independence from their parents and caregivers, which can definitely in fact impact their behavior. So some key takeaways for this particular question, physical changes in adolescence like growth spurts and puberty, they directly affect emotion, behavior, and thinking. The development of primary and secondary sex characteristics during puberty mark a significant psychological and social milestone, and these changes contribute to adolescents' sense of identity and their social relationships. Okay, now we're going to look at the last question for 3.2, and that is explain how physical development in adulthood applies to behavior and mental processes. So we've done the whole development from prenatal to adulthood, right? So let's have a look at the overview of physical uh, development in adulthood. So basically, adulthood is a long stage of life. It's marked by physical stability early on, followed by gradual changes in physical abilities. These changes affect behavior and mental processes over time. 
So we have a, we'll look at reproductive changes, for example, in adulthood. So for example, for women in menopause, in women, menopause marks the end of the reproductive ability. So this typically occurs late 40s to 50s, where women will no longer be able to reproduce. Um, how does that impact behavior and mental processes? Hormonal changes during menopause can lead to mood swings, sleep disturbances, changes in memory and concentration. It sounds a little bit like what we talked about when we were going through puberty, right? But it's like the reverse of it all. Uh, male reproductive changes. In men, there's a gradual decline in testosterone, which can affect libido, energy levels, and mood. So let's talk about mobility and flexibility also. So as adults age, they can experience reduced mobility and flexibility. So these physical changes can lead to reduced physical activity, influencing emotional well-being, social participation. Decreased mobility can contribute to feelings of frustration and dependency, and potentially that could affect mental health, right? Reaction time and sensory acuity. So as adults age, reaction time generally slows, which can affect activities like drinking or drinking, like driving, not drinking. Uh, if you're drinking, it will definitely affect your reaction time, but driving or playing sports, um, slower reaction times may lead to changes in behavior, such as avoiding high risk situations, or it might require more time to complete tasks. We'll also have sensory decline. So maybe our visual acuity, many had Adults experience reduced in sharpness of visions, needing glasses. I just started this this year. I never needed glasses before. And all of a sudden now I can't see, I can't read anything. I need my glasses to be able to see anything. Um, auditory acuity, hearing loss can occur, especially in high frequency ranges. This can impact our mental processes because sensory decline can affect communications, social interactions, and cognitive processing. So for example, like hearing loss could lead to social withdrawal or difficulty understanding a conversation. So you may not be able to participate like you used to be able in the conversation because you're just not hearing everything that you used to hear. Okay, physical, physio, oh, sorry, psychological impact of physical changes. So how do we adapt to this? Adults may have to adapt to change in their physical abilities, which can influence their self-concept and emotional being. You will have to adjust how you interact with people, how you interact. I am continuously looking for my glasses all the time, even sometimes around my head, but I don't find them. You are adapting to these physical changes that you're experiencing. Um, your mental health, physical decline, particularly when it limits independence, can contribute to feelings of frustration anxiety, depression in some individuals. Okay. And that's like at the take key takeaways for this uh, part of the unit. Physical development in adulthood involves stability early on, followed by gradual changes like menopause, reduced mobility, slower relaxion, reaction times, and sensory decline. These changes can affect our behavior, becoming less active, example, mental processes, that would be your mood changes, your social interaction difficulties, and then how individuals adapt to these changes plays a significant role in their emotional and physical, psychological well-being. So how do you accept these changes and how do you deal with them? Um, this is all important for psychologists to understand. Okay, so these are the four CED questions for 3.2 physical development across the lifespan. And it really did go across the lifespan. We started at prenatal, then we went to infancy, then we went to adolescence, and then we went to adulthood. And so you should have all those down. You should be able to see that continuity between the four stages and understand the key terms. I'm going to do a separate video for the key terms for this unit as well with some definitions and examples for you to help you understand the key terms so that you can apply them when you get to the exam FRQs, okay? Hopefully you found this helpful. If you did, please hit that subscribe button. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you do well on this unit test or the AP exam, whichever you're studying for. Wish you all the best. Thanks again. See you next time.